Hey guys, um, I just wanted to go over some of the settings, and um, this is the this is the John Wick or Keanu Reeves model I've been working on. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you the original model, the small one that I um, demonstrated last time. So if I come in here and switch to a merged frame, you'll see that there's still uh, some blurring. Um, on this one, I did flip the uh, source images, so you'll kind of see that there's uh, some matching things on both sides of the face. But um, overall, for uh, ex extreme angles, um, it turned out pretty good. Uh, looking up, looking down, I still get some blurriness in the top region up and the lower region looking down. Um, this model was trained at uh, 320 by 320, but uh, I'm using a 240 face aligner, and um, and you can see how like the blacks aren't all the way black; they're kind of blue. What I like to do is uh, uh, lower these uh, gamma values. By about 10 each and then uh, raise the sharpen uh, to about 15 or 20 percent and you can see that that kind of makes a difference for me uh, my hair kind of blends in better I'm also running RCT this is about turn RCT off it makes me kind of orange I didn't pre-process any of the images um, from the source uh, and then if I go back in here, only thing about the pre-sharpen is uh, if I'm just sitting here with my mouth closed, like if I'm saying ba 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 ba, looking up a little, mm, doesn't close the mouth all the way. So this uh, set settings uh, by Leonard, I'm actually using uh, uh, Langzos four, it looks like, and uh, with these settings, I think these are the best I can get out of this 320 by 320 model. Uh, I could probably run GAN more on it, maybe sharpen it more in the model, but uh, this one looks pretty good. It's, it's fairly responsive. And then my big model, I was having problems with that one because it wasn't uh, it wasn't letting me close the mouth. I kind of fixed some of it, but uh, I'll switch to that right now and show you what I'm talking about. And I think it was this one. And this is all running on my 3090. All right. So you can see a lot more detail in the face. And the same with this one. I'm going to go ahead and change my pre-gamma. Drop these values by about 10 is what I see seems to be working best. And then uh, just increase the sharpness a little bit. Now there is a little bit of a delay on this one because it's the model's almost twice the size. This model is running 512 by 512. So I don't know the OBS is picking it up. In real time my voice or if there's a delay uh, you can see down here in the bottom left this is the source image and then the the output window um, but overall I think this one is pretty sharp Still have some issues looking looking up like this. Yeah. So I need to train and uh, get some more source images. Looking down around the mouth needs to be fixed. Uh, looking right. This is mostly the way I would be pointing. But as you can see, it doesn't want to close my mouth. Unless I force my lips closed. Sometimes it doesn't even work.
Um, look the other way. Yeah, so there's some stuff going on at this angle right here where my lips doesn't don't want to come together. But I think I can uh, train that out by changing up some source imagery or adding a different uh, destination images. Um, overall, it's pretty sharp. If I was uh, streaming this, like I said, I don't know the delay on the audio, but I could go into OBS and uh, uh, extend the delay so that it matches uh, the stream. And um, uh, let's see, like, if I was trying to get even more resolution, I could bump this up, but uh, to 320, or even if I go all the way to the size of the model, face liner uh, again I'm still just running let me switch this to 720 this is definitely going to dog my FPS but eh, this is you know as close to real time as I'm going to get there's still like some artifacts going on And this is a 10900K with um, the 3090 running. Now, I was able to get the small model running quite well while playing the uh, Warzone. And my Warzone FPS was still 220, so I had no issues. And I was able to stream uh, with the smaller model. If I, uh, if I switch back to the smaller one. And then, let's see, pretty gamma here. Try to get those colors a little darker. Yeah, so this one... Mm, let me bring this resolution back down to 220-ish, or 240. And this is running average uh, 20 FPS. Um, and then if you consider, like, uh, the window is going to be small up in the corner, smaller than this even. Yeah, it, was, it works pretty good. And then so, like when I'm playing, I'm looking in this direction, and um, it's pretty snappy, pretty responsive. I would like to get more detail, or at least train it more on um, train it more on the destination images, like uh, record myself while I'm playing, and you know searching back and forth looking across my monitors or whatever and um try to get that source the source images to line up better with um with the destination images of how i'd actually be you know, oriented while playing and stuff like that but overall um i'm just blown away by how we've come to this point where we can basically uh, live stream the deep fakes and, and you know fairly convincing uh, personal computer and uh, you know if i had uh, government funding or massive computers or soon to be the 4090 or, you know, the way technology is progressing. Um, this type of, this sort of, um, this is not just a face filter. You can, as you can see, you know, it's, it's tracking the face pretty good. It's accounting for lighting conditions. It's a, 
you know, it's, it's really replacing the face and, uh, the blinking, it's not just like a, some kind of 2d filter, uh, put over my face. There's a lot of stuff going on in this, in this, um, algorithms right here. So yeah, uh, it's working pretty good. This is the original model. Like I said, I still get some of that mouth opening whenever I raise my head a little. See, my teeth are showing there on the inference, but uh, on the original, the teeth are not showing. And um, I'll keep uh, working at it and see if I can... Let's see, I'll switch back to this one. This one doesn't look too bad. Even just raising the sharpness there. But as you can see, it, the mouth is just not, there's something wrong with the mouth. Just working with some facial expressions, doing some of the stuff he would do like, yeah, so, but you know, fast moving, there's some blurring in my, I don't have a very good webcam at the moment, but I do have a mirrorless camera, but the, the placing of this webcam is kind of inconvenient, like, uh, but as, on this one, you can see if I just look straight into the camera, it's uh it's fairly high detail and uh, close to real time you can see like a lot of uh, blemishes and imperfections um, I did uh, some landmarks on the head here so the forehead would kind of show through and show uh, the wrinkles a little and then you know, further back. Looks pretty good to me, I guess. Well, that's it. I'll continue training this. Um, and um, I'll be in the DFL channel on Discord. Uh, if you guys have any questions or suggestions on how I could get rid of these teeth. <laughs> All right, catch you later.